Unbelievable. Megan dared to take royal title as public joke as finding herself at loss toward Kate. The Duchess of Sussex featured on an episode of the show on Thursday evening, just over eight months after she and Prince Harry sat down for an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. Her appearance on The Ellen Show was packed full of gags and jokey sketches. The joshing began moments after Meghan Markle sat down with Ellen. The TV host struggled on numerous occasions to pronounce Meghan's title, Duchess of Sussex. The studio audience found this highly amusing. At one stage, later in the interview, Ellen asked her audience to have a crack at the title instead. She claimed that Duchess of Sussex is hard to pronounce. Ellen even tried to get Meghan herself to pronounce her title. As well as this, Meghan was tasked with numerous dares. At the start of one sketch, Ellen said, I sent Meghan out to do some shopping. She wore an earpiece and had to say and do everything I told her to do. She asked Meghan, do a squat if you can hear me. And to her delight, Meghan did exactly that. But Meghan didn't spend her whole interview with stand-up comic Ellen DeGeneres pulling gags. She also made a political pledge to ensure employees are entitled to paid leave. She said, people truly forget that or don't even know it's one of only six wealthy countries in the world that does not mandate and have a federal paid leave program. I will do everything I can to make sure we can implement that for people. Meghan's latest TV appearance has prompted speculation as to who she might appear with for her next high-profile interview. Richard Eden from the Daily Mail joked on Twitter, we've had the Oprah interview, and the Ellen DeGeneres chat. Who's next for Meghan? Piers Morgan I hope. It took but a few moments for Morgan to come back with a suggestion. He replied, I'm available. The reason is dazzling Kate and William Steele show hours before new Meghan interview. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have attended this year's event at the Royal Albert Hall where artists such as Ed Sheeran, Sir Rod Stewart, James Blunt and Anne-Marie are all scheduled to perform. This comes hours before Meghan Markle is set to sit down with Ellen DeGeneres. For the occasion, the Duchess of Cambridge dazzled in a floor-length green Jenny Packham dress. The shimmery long dress, covered in sequins, featured long sleeves and strategically placed crystals on the bodice, waist and cuffs. Prince William opted for a navy blue suit. Kate previously wore the gown during an official visit to Pakistan in 2019. This comes hours before the Duchess of Sussex will sit down with US comedian Ellen DeGeneres. Her second TV interview after the explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey will air on CBS in the US, as she opens up to host Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen shared the news with her fans earlier this week, saying, A lot has changed since the last time Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was on the Warner Brothers lot. She will provide insight into her acting career, including early auditions at Warner Brothers, before she joined the royal family. Speaking about her car at the time, she said. It had a life of its own so I had this very old Ford Explorer Sport and at a certain point the key stopped working on the driver's side, so you couldn't get yourself in through the door so after auditions, I would park at the back of the parking lot and I would open the trunk and climb in pull the door shut behind me and crawl all over my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro. When asked if anyone said anything about her strange behavior, Markle said she had an explanation ready to go. No I would play it off, I'd go, oh, I'm just looking for my resume, highlighters for my script. Maybe it's back there, and then crawl in and close it. The things we do, she laughed.